Hello and welcome to this video which will show you how to install SPSS 20 for Windows 7. We understand that the installation process for SPSS 21 should be very similar if not identical. You must make sure that your computer is connected to the internet for this entire process. If you've purchased an SPSS disk, insert it in your computer drive now. After a short time, this window should appear on the screen. Click once on the run setup.exe line. Click yes to continue. You should now see the SPSS installer window appear. If you do not see the installer window appear, click on the Windows Explorer icon in your quick start bar, then navigate to your CD-ROM drive which should look like this. Double click on the Windows folder on the right hand side then double click on the setup icon. Again click yes to proceed. From the installation menu you may wish to have a look at some installation instruction documentation. Click once on the installation instructions menu item. A window will open to reveal multiple languages. Double click the English folder to continue. Now, double-click the Installation Documents folder, then the Windows folder. You will be presented with several documents, but the one that will be most relevant is the document called Single User License Installation. These documents are in Adobe Acrobat format, so please make sure you have Acrobat Reader installed beforehand. Let's now close this window and start the installation. Click once on the Install IBM SPSS Statistics 20 link to start the process. On the Licensing page, click Next. On this screen, ensure that the Single User License button is selected, then click Next. At the Software License screen, click the I Accept the Terms in the License Agreement radio button, then click Next to continue. On this screen, you can enter your name if you wish, then click Next. English language support is installed by default. If you wish to install more language support, please do so here. Click Next to continue. Here, you can change the installation folder. We recommend leaving it at the default setting, then click Next. We now have all the information necessary to start the process. Click the Install button to start the installation. This will take some time as it is a big installation and we've sped up the process for this demonstration. SPSS is now installed on your computer. We've chosen to not register the product and we'll untick this box. Click the OK button to start the licensing wizard. Make sure that the License My Product Now radio button is selected, then click Next to continue. You're now prompted to enter the license code you will have received as part of your software purchase. If you purchased an installation disk, the codes are provided in the packaging. It is critical that you enter the code exactly as it appears, ensuring that there are no extra spaces before or after the code. We've blurred the code out on screen for privacy reasons. Once the code has been entered, click Next to continue. If all goes well, you should see the message stating that all the codes were successfully processed. Click Next to continue. This screen details how long SPSS is licensed for. This screen may possibly vary from what you see, but you should see the IBM SPSS statistics feature in the list. When you're ready, click Finish to complete the licensing wizard. You can close the installer window. Let's now start SPSS to make sure the installation process worked. If you see the following Windows Security Alert screen, please click the Allow Access button to continue. 
If you see a screen asking about Unicode support, please click the Use Unicode Encoding button to continue. Please remember that SPSS does not come with any data files for STA-102. You must download these from the STA-102 Blackboard Unit website. Now that we're satisfied that SPSS is working, we can quit the application. We hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.